Welcome back to another Final Table commentary. If at any point in time you find yourself not caring for the commentary, there'll be a link in the description to the video to BCP Poker Replays his YouTube account. Go check him out there. That's where I get all the action from. Alrighty, let's get this one going. We got a 1K PKO from Turbo Series 2020. Sir Watts with an ace and a jack in the big blind. We'll see how things progress. SVZ. With the pocket pair, did I get that right? SVZ, interesting name. He's a four big blind bet. Sir Watts not going to let him see a free flop. Ace King four, all good news for Sir Watts. So we also got Mr. Andrew here, DeWast doing poker golf or power golf, <laughs> poker golf. That's funny. <laughs> Elena nine hundred, of course. Very strong player with the king and the king. Doing with the ace and the queen of the same suit and 13 blinds. Rips it all in. Uh-oh. King King having a heyday here. Just sweating an ace. Sweating some spades. Sweating a queen. We get the deuce of spades on the river. Lena with the king's hold. We got Merlo with a king and a jack. We'll see if they open that up. And Fu and Clue to round things out. With 39 blinds. Lena with pocket sixes. Open those up. Or open them up. The Wass with top pair flops well. Lena sticks it all in. Any sixes dealer? Nope. The Wass gets a quick double up there. Lena back down to 28 bigs. I guess he wasn't at 28 bigs before. But he's back. He's down <laughs> to 28 bigs. Ace king for Fu and Clue. Going for the three bet. Merla with pocket sevens. Merla just finds the fold and moves along. Good shit for Merla. Would have been flipping for their life. They got a 4K bounty on their head. That's huge. DeWast as well with a 4K bounty on their head. And an ace and a 10, they rip it all in. We'll see if Lena goes bounty hunting with King Jack. It's not suited, but it's still possible. Lena does find the call king on the flop. Any spades? Nope, just an ace for DeWast. And we see a three of diamonds. DeWast is out of here. Lena gets a huge bounty to start things off. Another one. <clears throat> 10 jack for Sir Watts is going to face an all in from Power Golf's 9 9. This will get through pre flop. Sir Watts going to look to preserve those chips. Not get it in sillily with the jack and the 10. SVZ gets one through with 8 8. I suppose that's mighty fine for them. Merla with Queen 10 on the button is going to limp it on in. Fu and Clue calls from the small. SVZ with the jack deuce checks it back. Sees a jack 7 2 flop. All good news for SVZ. Ace of hearts on the turn, giving Merla quite a few outs now. Any king or heart would do. They can't know that their 10 of hearts is good though. So they find the fold. SVZ with the two pair will take that one down. Folds back around to SVZ in the small blind. They're going to limp in 10 5. Sir Watts with a dominating queen five goes for another big raise. Looks like three and a half x preflop. Do ba do 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 ba do do. That raise gets through, of course. Lena opening up jack ten. SVZ with another small pocket pair place call from the button. King nine in the big blind for Mr. Andrew just lets it go. Six four three or sorry six four two flop. Three three with a straight draw to the five. Flop goes check, check, eight of hearts on the turn. Mm -hmm -hmm. Lana says this card's good enough for me to bet. Bet's about 75%. SVZ finds the call, ace of diamonds on the river. Pretty good card for Lana to barrel. Lana finds the check, bad news. Threes are going to check it back and take down a nice two million chip pot. Blinds go up. Sir Watts with a jack 7 on the button will just let it go and Mr. Andrew will fold 5-3 so Power Golf gets a walk. Ace Queen for Merla, 16 blinds, just rips it all in with the $4,100 bounty on their head. Says, does anybody want to, anybody want to take a shot? Everybody folds. SVZ with pocket 4s opens from early position. Power Golf lets go of 5s. Merla in the big blind with jack 8 will defend the big blind and flops top pair. SVZ puts out a small bet. 
Marla's going nowhere. Ace on the turn. Good card for SVZ to barrel. 1.4 in the middle. SVZ says 600 or 630 k to go. Do buddy do. Merla finds the call. We get a five on the river. Hearts miss. SVZ says I'm all in dealer and a quick call from Merla. Wow, huge pock one Merla's way just with a pair of jacks with a shit kicker. Do bitty do 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 bitty do. Ace 10 for SVZ. They'll get right back in there. Try to recoup some chips. Power 9 with pocket 9s once again. Once again, they're all in for 20 big blinds. And another one's going to get through for them. Mm -mm -mm. Ace King from Merlis. He's an under the gun raise from Aces. Or sorry, under the gun plus one. Is that right? Is he in the low jack? High jack? Doesn't matter. Merla gets it in. Aces jam. Oh, any jacks dealer. Any jacks. Nope, just a couple of sevens. Mr. Andrew gets the full double. Ace four for Fu and Clue. On the button. King jack in the big blind plays call. Queen eight deuce flop. No spades for Fu. They still go for a small bet with the best of it. Sir Watts with three in a row. Thinking about going for the check raise. Ooh, just finds the check fold on the flop. Mm -mm -mm. Leno with ace five will raise it on up. Mr. Andrew with the king and the queen plays call. Doopity do, six five four flop. Leno with middle pair top kicker goes for a C bet. And Mr. Andrew folds to king queen. Marla in the tank with Jack 3 will eventually let it go. Folds around to Sir Watts on the button who raises the ace 10. This might just get through pre flop. That it does. Blinds go up. Ace queen for Fu and Clue. King king for Mr. Andrew. His patience has rewarded him just well. Fu and Clue with the ace queen of the hearts. What the hell do we do? We play call and flop top pair queens. Bad news for Fu. Looks like Mr. Andrew's at least going to get this little bet out of him. 700k all in from Fu and Clue. Quick call from Kings. Any aces or queens. No dealer. 10 million chips going Mr. Andrew's way. And Fu and Clue is pretty well out of here. With 0.5 of a big blind. 0.4 now. Do ba dee do. Da da ba dee do. Lena jams in the 8-5. Merla can't call. Just about anything. Oh look at this. Fu and Clue gets ace king in the big blind. Mr. Andrew jams for the $4,600 bounty. And he, oh, he hits a 9, but a king on the turn. Wait, yeah, that's going to be ace-king's pot. I thought we chopped it up as Mr. Andrew scooped a little bit of chips back. No, we don't chop it up. Just a full double. Fu and Clue sticks it in with 5-4, and he flops a pair of 4s. Or 5, sorry. My bad. Fu and Clue surviving with 4 blinds after being down to .4. Aces for SVZ, limp it in. Sir Watts checks it back and he flops two pair with the seven deuce. Oh no, this is horrific for SVZ. SVZ, yeah, I got that right. We see a min bet on the flop. Aces call, king on the turn. So many draws out there, hard not to put out a big bet with two pair. 800k into 780. SVZ says, what the hey is this about? All in from the aces. They're going to need a king, a six, or an ace. We see a five of hearts. SVZ's out of here. Just like that, Fu and Clue get to the ladder. I mean, everybody does, but most importantly, they do because they were down to point four big blinds, and now they got four. They're going to stick it all in with queen ten. Ace three suited for Sir Watts plays call. Giving the other two a chance to come along too if they want to. Or fight for the pot pre-flop. Power golf calls. King 6-4 flop. Ace 5 good for the time being. 7 on the turn.
Power Golf with an open ender. Sir Watts with a gutter to the five. We see an ace on the river. Is this chopped up? Chop pot. Sir Watts and Power Golf scoop a little bounty. I mean a big bounty. But once you chop it up, it becomes smaller, of course. Doo -do, da -da -do, do So we move along with five players now. Ace Queen for Lena. Probably gonna jam. Merlo with an ace in the big blind. Hopefully they fold, but they find the call. Four on the flop. Any de or diamonds? Any demons? <laughs> Any demons? Uh, a little bit of a Freudian slip. Ace Queen always loses for me. You get it in good against Ace Four and just like that, Lane is down to twelve bigs. Lena was looking at that forty-one hundred dollar bounty, licking their lips. Rips in the ace queen, and they see three diamonds on the flop. They say, "Okay, you got a four. That's okay. Poker stars will treat me nice." As we see, Mr. Andrew flop the second nuts. Merlo with second pair. Spades complete on the turn. Merla checks it back. Four on the river. Don't think the queens go for any value, so Mr. Andrew will just take what's in the middle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nine eight suited for Watts. Power golf defends the big blind with seven deuce suited. Interesting stuff. Looking to flop some pairs or some shit. It was suited. Could flop some clubs. Not this time. Lena gets a walk. That's good news off the short stack. Mr. Andrew rips in 8-6 suited and we'll get this one through pre. And then gets an ace and a queen. Going to open this one up too. Sir Watts defends the big blind with queen 9. King 10-9 flop. Interesting board with two diamonds out there. Sir Watts with a straight draw and the pair of 9s plays call on the flop. Mr. Andrew had the back door flush draw, but we see a can of clubs on the turn. Deuce of diamonds on the river. Don't think we need to bluff with ace queen. Mr. Andrew does just check it back and sees the bad news. So Sir Watts up to 45 bigs, limps on in, facing a raise from the a7. Sir Watts quickly folds their king high. Do 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 do. Sir Watts with ace 8 on the button will raise it up. Facing a 3 bet from ace 5 suited from Mr. Andrew. We haven't seen too much of this. Should get some respect here, and Sir Watts is just going to fold the better ace. Do -ba -do -do. 4 7 0. Mr. Andrew just rips it in. As soon as they got that big stack, they're just putting their foot on the gas like a completely different player. Beforehand, they were just waiting around. Then they got their aces and their kings. Now it's like queen two suited. Let's play it from under the gun. Merlo with a7. Ripping it in. Getting it through. King five suited for Lena with ten blinds. Let's it go. Of course. Can't do anything. Sir Watts with jack nine. Facing a jam from the tens. That will get through preflop. Jack jack for Merlo. Goes for like a min open. Lena lays down jack four in the big. Merla just scoops the blinds and antes. Do ba da do ba 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 -de do da. Ace deuce for Mr. Andrew, raising it on up. Merla thinking about it with king nine, but we'll land on the fold. Queen jack o for Sir Watts in the big blind. Looks like a calling hand. Finds the call. Ten five two flop. Three in a row for Watts, bottom pair top kicker for Andrew. Do ba dee do ba ba dee boop ba. Bet on the flop gets through. Right? Da ba dee do. Ace king for Merla. Jamming it all in for 14 blinds. Gets it through. Another ace king. Power golf with ace jack in the small blind. Does find the call. Uh oh. King, king, queen flop. Jack on the turn. That's no help. Four of a kind for Merla by the end of it. Plus the bounty. That's all good news for Merla who's up to 23 blinds. 
Lena with ace four takes a spot. Sir Watts getting a fair price to go bounty hunting. Million more chips to go into 1.7. Thirty-six hundred dollar bounty on Lena's head. You see, he's got the ace four. So Sir Watts finds the call. Has a pair of threes. Ace on the turn though. Lena's aces hold. That's good news for them. They're up to eleven blinds. Right back in the game. <coughs> Limp pot. Looks like it'll be three ways. Mr. Andrew a 3-5. We'll check it back. Flop's the best of it. 8-6-3 flop. Merla has some backdoor straight draw. We see a king on the turn as it checked around. Sir Watts now with top pair with a fair kicker. Merla with a no equity bluff. King 10 ain't folding. Four on the river. Merla gives up the bluff and Sir Watts takes the two mil in the middle. Merla tries to limp in again with the queen jack this time. Lena with six four. Flop in middle pair. Weird spot for Lena. Seeing a check. That's good news. Ten on the turn. Merla checks. Ten on the river. All good news for Lena. They even go for a little value bet here. Trying to get called by ace high. Queen high's thinking about it. The queen high finds the fold. Lena takes down the pot. Do ba do 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 ba do do. Andrew rips in ace deuce for 17 blinds and gets it through. In the cutoff, they'll raise king four. Non all in. Queen six suited for Watts will call. Jack. 9-8 flop. Straight draw to the 10 for Watts, but he sees a bet and he's going to have to fold. <coughs> Merlot with ace 9. 17 blinds, rips it on in, gets it through. Andrew rips the queen 5 from the small blind, and Lena lays down the suited 8-7. Do 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 do. 9-8 for Andrew Rips and gets it through from the button. And now 8-3 suited from the cutoff, ripping it on in. Blinds go up. Mr. Andrew's just going to get to continue to do what they're doing. They're even getting a walk with a 5-deuce. King-Queen, we're all in. What an unfortunate situation for Merlin and Watts as they just have to fold down. Watch Mr. Andrew scoop all these pots. A7 suited will rip. Jax from Merlot will at least see some action this time. Boop, buddy, do, da da, buddy, do. Come on, dealer, put some aces out there or some clubs or something. One club? Nope, no aces. Jax hold. Don't know why I was rooting for Andrew. <laughs> kind of just want to see him get to continue what he's doing. But Lena rips in ace eight. Sir Watts with kings. Sir Watts rejams. Ace on the flop though. King on the turn though. 4.2 million chips going to Watts plus the bounty. 5 4. Watts will go for the open. King Jack will raise all in. Mr. Andrew gets it through pre. 5 3 on the button will raise. Merla takes a spot with Ace 4. Up to 30 blinds now. King and a Jack. They'll raise into Andrew's big blind and take it down. So just like that, with Merlo with 30 blinds, Mr. Andrew isn't going to be able to do the jamming now. It's going to be some limp pots. This is going to be fun. Bottom pair for Merlo. Bets a big blind. Gets a call from the 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 ace. The a6. Turn goes check, check. Queen on the river. Andrew bets. He's going to put ace four in a weird spot. Merlo might just land on the fold. It's about half pot. Merla does fold, lay the, lays it down. Mr. Andrew steals that one away. King 7 6 flop. Sir Watch checks with the top pair, sees a bet from Mr. Andrew. Puts in the check raise, 1.7 mil to go, and Queen 8 quickly folds. Ace Jack versus sixes. This could get in pre flop. We see a big raise from Watts. 
Andrew jams. Hard to fold ace jack suited here. Sir Watts plays call jack on the flop. That's all oh, with six on the turn. All good news for Mr. Andrew. He makes a boat. Pretty well locks up the board just sweating a jack. 66 bigs to 27. We got a heads up battle. Doop a dee doo. 9 7 from Merla. Limps it on in. Jack 6 checks it back. Ace 9 3 flop. Merla bets. And Jack 6 folds. 5 8 for Andrew. Gonna go for the raise. Merla plays call. Flops a straight draw, but same deal for Mr. Andrew. We see Merla putting the check raise. Mr. Andrew's not going nowhere. No siree. King on the turn. 3.7 in the middle. Mr. Andrew with 8 high has the best of it for the time being. Puts in another bet. 1.4 mil. Merla jams. Whoa wee wee wah. Now we got to fold our 8 high. Huge pot going Merla's way. What a play there. Mr. Andrew raising 5-2, flop and bottom pair, Merlot with queen 3, sees a bet, will have an easy fold, queen 3 limping in, queen jack checks it back, 10-8, 6 flop, goes check check, queen on the turn, half pot size bet from Andrew, quick call from queen 3 who makes 2 pair on the river, Merlot running pretty good here. They will check back on the river, but they scoop the pot, and that's mo what's important. Ace-10-4 flop. Mr. Andrew in position, going for a little C-bet. Merla calls with top pair with a fair kicker. Leads out on the 10 turn, and Mr. Andrew quickly folds. <coughs> Ace-5 flopping quite well here. Jack-6-5 with two clubs. Mr. Andrew with king three of diamonds. Plays call. Eight on the turn. Bringing in another flush draw. Merla goes for another large, large bet. Almost full pot. 2.1 mil. And that bet gets through. Eight, eight, deuce flop. Goes check. Or sorry. Eight, eight, deuce flop. Yep. That's what I said. Goes check, check. Four on the turn. Goes check, check. Five on the river. Goes check, check. And Merla takes it down. 8-9 for Merla, raising it up. Mr. Andrew goes for the 3-bet with 8-5. This should get through preflop. Oh, Merla calls. King-10-8, or sorry, King-10-6 flop. Two hearts. Mr. Andrew puts out a 1.4 million chip bet. Merla with a straight draw to the 7 will just lay it down. Interesting pot. Nice one for Mr. Andrew to take away. We're pretty well tied up here. Ace-Jack limps in. 8-3 suited for Andrew. Goes for the raise. Making it about 4x. Merla goes for the limp. Raise. Re-raise. And that will get the pot. Do but it do. Looks like a 3-bet from Merla gets through there. Mr. Andrew with bottom pair. Merla says let's go to the turn. Queen pairs the board, Mer or Andrew bets like full pot here, just a little bit under, and Merla lets go with the jack high. Queen three, first the old six deuce, and the six deuce bets on the ace high board, takes it down, nothing too interesting. AC deucey, sees a ten high board. Queen three, says yeah, I don't really care about this either. We'll just check this one down to the river. Ten pairs the board and Merla takes a stab with the race high. Might even be trying to get called by king high or queen high. The queen high did find the fold. Oh, this is some action. Eights are going to rip it in. Ace ten calls. Any aces or tens dealer? Merla's down to six blinds. That's a huge, huge pot. Merla's got jacks. That's no action for him, though. <coughs> Andrew jams the six eight. Six jack calls. Runs out clean for Merla, and Merla gets a full double with six jack. Getting it in, dominating. Oh. Whoopsie doodah. Ace nine gonna get it in versus ten four, and ten four flops top pair, and that's the end of the show. So just like that, my mouse kind of spoiled it, but in the end, Mr. Andrew jamming in deuces, ten four.
says I'm going to jam this one in too. Merla calls, sees the bad news on the flop, no ace to help him. And just like that, that's the end of the show. So if you made it all the way through, thanks for checking this shit out. Hopefully we'll see you in another one. Adios amigos.